let's strip this down. Go back to the basics. I'm talking a bread and butter topic here. Essential information. Let's call this one introduction to issuing trays in a housing unit in a facility that is currently direct supervision. You always need a subtitle. It makes it sound official. Maybe you're thinking, Young, this is kind of silly because I know how to do trays. <laughs> how come you let your porter take you for six cakes? <laughs> Let's start there with your porters, with your trustees. By a show of hands, who gives their porters double portions? Extra trays. One, two, three. Most of you, wow. Well, then this is going to go over like a lead balloon. Look, do what you want to do, but if it was me and I am me, I wouldn't get into the habit of handing out extra trays to anyone, especially to the porters. Issuing trays is something that you need to know how to do. It may seem simple, but it can get a little hectic. There's a lot of movement. So my first tip is to limit that, is to cut back on some of the extracurriculars. Meaning if you can, if your, if your policy allows, lock your housing unit down. Completely. Off the phones and everything. I make sure my unit is secure before I bring in the trays. And then I say something like, gentlemen, the trays are here, or fellas, head in for me, the trays are here. <laughs> I don't really yell or scream. Then I count the trays and I only bring in enough to serve everybody one. Some of this is facility specific, so follow along the best you can. Once the trays are in and my porters are prepared, I serve my lockdowns, my house alones, and anyone else that may give me fits. Here's another pro tip. When you're serving your lockdowns and your, and your folks that you're not going to let out with everyone else, make sure that you hand them the tray. Don't have your porters do it. You do it! That way your porter can't pass anything to the people. Or if the person tries to push past and escape the room, you can be there and do what you need to do. So go ahead and serve those individuals and then move on to everyone else. So in my place, we only let out a certain amount of rooms at a time. I think it's like four. Some places do tiers or rows or bays or whatever. But I recommend that you do whatever your agency says do. So here's why issuing trays is awesome. Because it gives you an opportunity to have a brief interaction with everyone in your unit. I used to stand near the tray card and greet everybody that came up. I use this time to memorize everyone's name. Evening, Mr. Smith. How's it going, Mr. Simmons? Como esta, Senor Martinez? Now, I would do this for a couple of different reasons. Aside from memorizing my mod, it also kept folks honest. It cuts down on people trying to pilfer an extra portion of overcooked pasta. <laughs> I'll still try. I just had a guy try to snatch a second tray from me last week. And because I was watching and talking and the guy was 6'5 with a face full of tattoos, it was easy to identify him when he came back through the line. It also gives me a chance to see if they're fine. So if you have a dude that's always cracking jokes and, and being a clown and then suddenly he's silent and seemingly down, you can follow up, see what's cracking. Maybe something happened. And maybe you can intervene before whatever it is becomes whatever it's gonna be. So you made your call and everyone's gone through, so now what do you do? Have your porters grab their trays and secure the extras. Set them outside the unit if you can. Or behind your podium. Or in your office. Put them somewhere. Maybe you can have a rover come in and get them. I send them out. That way no one can ask me for seconds. And after a bit, I'll walk around and collect the trays from the lockdowns by myself. And if the doors have hatches, I'll have them pass them out through the hatch. If they don't, I'll have the inmate place the tray close to the door so I can just pop it and grab it. Then I'll have the porters come grab the trays from me and put them back. The last thing I'll do is a quick count to make sure I have all of the trays. If my count matches, I send them out. If I'm off, I start looking. Chances are some dude has a stack of like four or five in front of him. And just like that, trays complete. Again, this process will vary from place to place based on logistics, layout, and how lazy your FTO is. But for the most part, it's probably pretty close. The main takeaway is to limit your distractions, take away temptation, and take your time. If you like this video, if you found value in this video, straight punch that little like icon. And if you're looking for more premium correctional content, check out this video right here. Or hit this video right here. All right, guys, that's all I got. Until next time, be smart, stay safe, stay sane, and we'll talk soon.